Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy FR7 and welcome back. Today we have a huge new video for you guys. Our first video of FIFA 23. So excited to get going for the new FIFA. So excited to start pushing out content for you guys again. And I hope you guys pretty much enjoy um, enjoy what's to come this FIFA. I'm going to get on the grind again. Going to push out a lot of videos. And hope you guys stick around to uh, join me on this journey. So for today's video, pretty much uh, what I did was I threw uh, together a team just so that I could hop into Rivals, uh, play a few games and just kind of get a feel of the game, see how the game works, how it differs from previous FIFAs and pretty much just get my overall, like my thoughts and my overview of the game and how I feel about it. So, you know, this starter team is not really a team that I kind of put too much thought into or planned. I just kind of threw a team together um, based off players that I had in my club and hop into the gameplay. So pretty much I'm going to show you the start team, show you some gameplay and at the end I'm going to give you my thoughts of the newest edition of FIFA. So as you can see in the start team we do have our England goalkeeper. We've got Spence at right back, our two centre backs Gabriel and Sergio Ramos. We've got Nuno Mendes at left back, a midfield three consisting of Bissouma, Van der Beek and Ferrati and a front three of Lucas, Martial and Harvey Barnes. Team looks pretty good. We are going to play a 4 1 2 1 2. Um, Barnes and Cam, Martial, and Lucas up top. And you know, everybody else pretty much in position. So let's get into the gameplay and I'll give you guys my thoughts at the end. So, as you can see, the first team we came up against was a pretty good team actually. Loris, Fabinho, the standout players. He does have Leon Bailey and Lucas Paqueta as well as uh, Zaha. And he comes right down the field at the start of the game with Paqueta and he does score before coming right back down again with Zaha and putting it into the back of the net yet again. But have no fear because Lucas is here. We do play this ball down to Lucas and we grab our first goal of FIFA 23 with the Tottenham winger Lucas. We do go another goal behind there but we do drag it back pretty quickly here. We get into the ball with Lucas and another great finish there. Um, JK, we do get the ball on the rebound and we tap it into the back of the net. Here on the corner, pretty weird header there, goes straight past the keeper, flapping it, nothing pretty much, playing Flappy Bird on his cell phone, where he could have scored there, and he does, um, he doesn't, sorry, keeper could have saved it, but he doesn't, and we do come back down again there to score a tap in, win the game, 4-3. Getting into the next game here, again, a decent team here, not as good as the last one, but he does have Lone Kaka, as well as Son in the team, so that could prove to be difficult, and we do go behind the game, we concede here, keeper could have done a bit better, but doesn't, but that doesn't matter because we do win a penalty, um, I mean we don't really have too many penalty takers, so we do end up just going to hit it with Martial, and you know the penalty system is a bit different here, I didn't even realize um, there's no markers, there's no aiming targets, so you kind of just time the penalty and hit it down the middle, because I don't really know what else to do with it. But that doesn't matter because we come right back down again here, square the ball and a nice easy tap in there for Lucas Mora. Some good play here, we get the ball down with Harvey Barnes, a nice shot across the keeper there and a great finish, rippling the back of the net before some good play here again results in another great goal to put us 4-1 ahead. We go again here, we score another goal with Lucas, 5-1 before coming down again here, playing the ball through to Lucas, down to Martial and... 6-1, game set and match, no coming back here, but just to put the icing on the cake, in case you didn't think it was clear cut enough, we do come back for a 7th, a good pass there and a great shot there, we tried the, the driven shot, that new power shot and it does work out and we do win the game, 7-1. Next game here, we do come up against another good team, this is a very solid team as well, he's got lone uh, Ronaldinho and lone Mbappe. So we do concede there, we go down early and we concede a second goal here. Go down to, as you can see, a common trend emerging. We go down in every game, but we do come back in every game. And here we come with Martial, through one goal and a shot right across the keeper there into the near post. Before making the tackle here, well, we try to make the tackle, we miss it and he does score again to extend his lead. But that doesn't matter to us because like I said, we are the absolute comeback kings of FIFA 23. We square this ball across, we make it 3-2 before coming right back down straight away here and making it 3-3 with another power shot from Lucas. Into the ball here with Harvey Barnes, we play it down to Martial. Across the keeper there, another goal. 4-3 to take the lead before extending our lead here to 2 
playing this ball across and a nice finish there from Lucas. Brilliant shot, brilliant goal. Harvey Barnes here plays his ball down to Lucas. Lucas with some good skills there. Hits it across the keeper to extend our lead to six. But this guy does come back and score one more to make it 6-4. But have no fear because Lucas once again is here. This time Martial to be honest. I made a mistake. It was Martial not Lucas. To make it 7-4 and put the, put the icing on the cake. Here we go with Lucas. Some brilliant dribbling here. Leaving one defender, two defenders and three defenders on the floor. Before hammering it into the near post. Past the goalkeeper to finish the game 8-4. Here we go into the next game again. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you guys the team here because I did forget to uh, record it. But that's okay because again, <laughs> common theme emerging. Like I said, 1-0 down, 2-0 down, 3-0 down. This time even worse than the last times. Quick succession, 18 minutes in. We are down by 3. But that doesn't matter because like I said, we are the comeback kings of FIFA 23. Martial scores on the 28th. We come back down, sorry, in the 21st, we come back down in the 28th. Martial uh, passing it to Lucas and Lucas with another goal, making it 3-2. And to complete the comeback here, we get into the ball with Barnes. Some good dribbling there. We play it down to Lucas. Lucas threw on goal, finesses around the keeper, 3-3. We do unfortunately concede here to um, have a straight from kickoff to go 4-3 down. But that doesn't matter because we come back down again here. Play the ball to Barnes. Barnes rolls it across and we play through Martial. Martial threw in goal. He does take a shot here and Lucas taps it into the empty net to make it 4-4. Well, he taps it into the post rather should I say and we do score that rebound to make it 4-4. We play this ball over the top to Lucas. Take one touch, roll it to Martial and we tap it into the empty net to take the lead. 5-4. Beautiful comeback. But just to seal the deal here we come back down to Martial. Across the keeper yet again. Great finish. Game ends 6-4 to complete that beautiful comeback. Okay, so as you can see, this was my starter team like I showed you. The team actually played really well. As you saw, we played four games. We won all four. We did go at least two goals down in every single match. And then we got ourselves into gear. We completed the comeback in every game. It was just an all-round fantastic performance. Once we, once we went behind, it just showed some real team spirit. It showed some real invention and some real... You know, some real grit. We got between the teeth and we came back in every game. Okay, so I just want to kind of give you guys my overall thoughts of FIFA 23 so far. Uh, of the few games that i played. And to be honest with you, I love it. I really, really do love this game. It's a lot better than previous editions of this game. It's it's quite a few changes as well. I'm really enjoying it. Um, for me, like playing it as well in itself is just a lot more enjoyable visually. Like the colors just look a lot brighter, it looks a lot more vibrant, it looks a lot more inviting and it's just a lot more enjoyable to play. In terms of the actual gameplay, what I've noticed is um, pacey players are pretty important as usual. So it's nice to have fast players but it's not the meta however. Like you don't have to have fast players, you can you can um, survive with slower players as I did in this with this team as you can see. So you don't have to have fast players but they certainly do help. Another thing I've noticed is left stick dribbling is pretty much gone. You can't dribble really with a left stick. Um, to play this game, you have to pass, 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 pass and move. Playing passes, playing triangles, creating creating plays and pretty much score um, kind of passing plays. So there's not really any left stick dribbling that's that's involved. So you got to kind of just do passing moves before creating a chance to score. Um, the new feature of shooting, uh, including the, the power shot, I really really like it, I won't lie. I mean the slight issue I have with it is it takes a bit too long to power up and it kind of just gives the defender a bit too much time to recover and make a tackle. But other than that, if you get the shot away, it's actually a really cool shot. It looks really nice and it's it's just it's just really fun to play with. So that's a new feature that I really love. You know, it is really cool. Um, so you know, good on EA for adding that in because like I said, it just adds a new dimension to the game and it makes the game a lot more fun. One issue I have had with the game, however, is the goalkeepers because the goalkeepers seem to be non-existent. Like I said earlier, they all seem to be playing Flappy Bird because none of them can make a save. They just come out flapping at everything and they essentially kind of miss every ball coming their way. So, you know, hopefully EA can just release in the next patch. They don't change the game too much, but hopefully they can just buff the keepers slightly just to make them a bit more better and a bit more usable. But anyway, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time guys, peace.